Hey guys, it's Ashton here from Muse Themes. We wanted to do a quick add-on video for our new focus theme to point out a specific functionality that we've been getting a lot of questions about in support. If you haven't watched the full tutorial on our focus theme yet, definitely hop over and check that out. It's a brand new theme that's perfect for the visual artist and it's set up with many instances of our Gallery Connect widget. However, I want to direct your attention to the portfolio page here. We have a large component here on the top of the page, and this is the simple slider component of the Gallery Connect widget. You can see that it's set to full width, and it's taking up a great deal of space here on the canvas. And if I go ahead and preview this in the browser, you can see that it brings up this really slick full screen slider with videos, and all these videos are clickable, and they play here in the place of these hero images, which is awesome. And you can go ahead and click here to close out of them. But one thing you've probably noticed is that if I scroll down the page here just a bit, this slider fills the browser space perfectly. And when I scale the browser size up and down, the slider will responsively adapt and adjust itself to fill that space regardless of the size, very similar to the functionality of our superhero widget. It's a really awesome function. However, it's not something that's achieved within the widget itself. We've had a lot of users write in saying that they've had a hard time recreating this effect when drafting new pages from scratch. And that's because there's a little bit of custom code that was added into this theme to achieve this. Occasionally we use a bit of code into the header of a page to get a certain behavior or a custom element. It's quite rare and we usually prefer not to do it, but in some cases it's warranted to achieve the best possible functionality. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to grab that right now. Let's say I wanted to copy this exact layout to a new page in a new project. So what I'll do is I'm going to select this Gallery Connect component. I will hit Command-C on my Mac or Control-C on a PC to copy it. And now if I jump out of our focus theme, I'll create a brand new blank website. I'll open up our first page. And if I hit Command-V, that will paste the gallery on my new page, and I'll just go ahead and line it up here at the top. There. Now, if I simply preview this new page in a browser, you'll notice that we are not getting nearly the same result. And here's where that custom code comes in. So if I click back to my focus theme, what we're going to do is right click on the portfolio page, and we'll select page properties. And you'll get this little pop-up window here. And where we need to go is the middle tab under metadata. And it's this lower section here that you're going to find some custom HTML code that was added into the head of this page. And this is what you need to copy over to any page that you're trying to recreate this effect on. So the simplest method here would be to just click inside the box and then select Command A on the keyboard and that will highlight everything. And then simply click Command C to copy it. From there, I can just jump back to my new site open up page properties on the home page, and then click into the header box and select Command V to paste everything. And that's it. I can jump back into the page, preview it in a browser, and voila, we get that nice custom behavior filling the browser space beautifully. And one last thing I wanna point out, back here on our focus theme, if I open the page properties of our home page, there is some custom code here as well. It's a lot less prominent on this page, and it's mostly just there to create some small custom behaviors and styles for the kinds of buttons that you're seeing on the Gallery Connect carousel slider that's further down on the page. And again, you don't need to worry about any of this if you're going to be working and styling inside these preset focus theme pages. It'll only come into effect if you're planning to copy and paste elements from these pages to different pages or to different project files. So to maintain that same look and functionality of those slideshows and galleries, just make sure to copy over any header code over to your new workspace. So that's it, guys. We appreciate you reaching out and letting us know what needed clarification, and I hope this was helpful. So if you have any additional questions, comments, or concerns, we're all ears. Take care.